Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Classic Animation Megatron and I love this toy. Released in November of 2018, he is available right now. As of the time of this recording, he is a Walmart exclusive and retails for approximately $30. So I just picked this guy up. Of course, I had to pick this guy up. I picked up the animated Prime. I had to pick up the animated Megatron, and I am not sorry. <laughs> and I am not disappointed. I love these figures. Real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. So as you can see, it is the same packaging that we got with the other Siege figure. The only difference is that instead of the artwork... Here on this uh, diagonal panel, we got ourselves the 35th anniversary logo right there. And going all the way around, there's uh, a really cool artwork of G or of you know of this figure of Megatron, but in G1 colors, and it looks amazing. I absolutely love that artwork. Going around the back, we've got our pictures of our actual product in robot and in vehicle mode. A little bit of a, a bio, that kind of thing. That's going to be about it for the box. And of course, he came with his instruction sheet and uh, my receipt <laughs> and a warning telling us that there are choking hazards and small parts may be uh, generated not uh, for children under the age of three. Uh, so there you go, kappa. <laughs> I know, that's... <laughs> anyway, let's get rid of this and we'll focus on the actual figure. So again, Megatron here in tank mode and like I said this in, the, in, in my previous review of the regular Siege War for Cybertron, I think they finally cracked the code. They gave us the perfect um, supplement or substitution for a G1 Megatron. They can't make him into a gun anymore, so let's make him into a tank. And this is a good, believable tank that transforms into an amazing-looking figure uh, that is that's Generation 1 uh, a Megatron. Uh, really, it is. It, it, there's no other way to put it. I think they finally cracked the code on Megatron, and I couldn't be happier. The tank mode... Once again, approximately nine inches long from back to the tip of the barrel here and about two and a half inches tall. The turret can go all the way around. It cannot move up and down, unfortunately. He does have wheel on the bottom, so he rolls quite nicely. He does have these little wheels on here. And of course, you can see most of the robot right there. Hello, hiding right in there. For comparison, here he is with the first uh, offering of War for Cybertron Megatron. So you can see what the color differences are. And I really like them both. I, I really do like these both. Now, one thing I think they did better with the previous figure is the fact that all of the, th the thread covers here are all the same color. Not uh, so much here with the new figure. I kind of like that better on the other figure. I don't like this. I don't like these two colors being uh, different like this. I think they should have painted this the same color as this. The fact of the matter is, you really don't see this in robot mode. So this would, this being the same color as this would not have affected the paint scheme that they had for this figure in robot mode. So I think that was a mistake. This should have been painted the same color as this. Kind of keep it cohes cohesive so it looks like that would have given us a better tank mode. Real quick, uh, second comparison. Here he is with the classic, or uh, yeah, classic animation, the current Optimus Prime that complements this figure right here. So you can see what these guys look like together. And again, I think the size difference is very apt for these two types of vehicles. I think that is a very believable size difference with these two. Once again, getting into transformation real quick. And we're not going to get into too much detail with this because we've already done this transformation once before. So we'll just go ahead and set that off to the side and uh, get this guy done real quick. I did review this figure already. Uh, in his regular paint scheme. So if you want to take a closer in-depth look at the transformation, detail steps, that kind of thing, uh, by all means, I'm going to put a link and a card uh, if I'm still allowed to do cards right up here somewhere. So you can go and check that video out and check out the transformation. Pop these guys off. And 
I always feel awkward not talking, just doing the transformation and not saying anything. It's kind of like this awkward silence. I kind of feel like I should be saying something, but if I, you know, and, and I kind of just naturally progress into uh, describing the transformation, which then just feels rushed and uh, I don't know, it's kind of awkward. So, but all right, there he is. Uh, we're gonna have to move the camera up a bit to show him off in robot. There is classic animation Megatron in robot mode. He looks amazing again. What a great job they did on this uh, paint scheme for this figure. He looks fantastic. Once again, Megatron is gonna be about seven inches tall, all the same points of articulation. So head is on a ball joint up and down, side to side. Shoulders can move all the way around, in and out. Rotation at the elbow, nothing at the wrist. Rotation at the waist, legs forward, backwards, in and out. Rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee. And a little bit of wiggle right here at the, well, actually kind of a lot of bit of wiggle, <laughs> of wiggle right there at the ankle. Now, I have seen or experienced a bit of an issue with this guy where the ankles seem not as tight as the original. So on the original one, trying to get these pieces here, which mine is actually off, trying to get these pieces here to click in the place uh, was quite difficult. You actually have to apply quite a bit of force. They end up popping them off most of the time. So on these guys, I don't know what they did different, but they they just kind of get in there, uh, which is nice. But then it makes the ankles, at least in this copy, it seems to make the ankles a little looser. So he, as you can see, he's leaning back. So it does tend to make them a little back heavy, which makes it really challenging for me. When, as you, if you remember, I like to put the sword on the back there. And it makes it really challenging to get him to stand, as you can see. I just I just can't get this guy to stand. It's very difficult. I've done it sometimes. Uh, but then if I bump it on the table or something like that, he's just going to fall. So, yeah, I'm having issues getting him to stand straight with the sword on his back, uh, which is unfortunate. Okay, the ankle popped off, so <laughs> I had to fix that off camera. So, But, yeah, as you can see, it, it's just giving me a really hard time. I actually got him standing there. But, again, it's it's not going to stand great with that sword on his back. He's going to have a tendency to fall over. So that's really kind of the only issue that I've had with him. Uh, but other than that, he looks amazing going all the way around. As you can see, the, the look of this being white back here uh, doesn't really affect what the outside or the side of these thread covers would have looked like. So, again... Uh, this, I think, should have been painted the same color as this. It would have given us a little more cohesive of tank mode. It would not have, have affected the figure at all, I think, because we really don't care what color the backpack is, to be honest. I, I, at least I don't. So, anyway, going all the way around, he looks fantastic. The cell shading <laughs> looks great. It's a beautiful figure. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, like, I have not been picking up figures that are not G1s or Optimus Prime specifically. But I just had to get this Megatron C, and now I'm having that trouble t trying to stand him up again. So I'm just going to remove the sword there and just kind of get him going this way so that he can stand and at least, you know, cooperate with me for the rest of the review. Real quick for comparison, here he is with the original offering of Siege Megatron. So you can see what these guys look like together, and they look fantastic. They absolutely look fantastic. So I like to get this guy displayed with my regular Siege Optimus Prime, and of course this guy I'm displaying with my animated Optimus Prime because I think they just look fantastic together. Be bo beautiful figures, both of them. Uh, if you only want to pick up one, uh, flip a coin. <laughs> I like them both. I love the colors on the original one, except for the cr chromy, silvery, scratchy stuff. I wish the scratchy stuff wasn't there. If, if we could remove the scratchy stuff, I really like that paint job. But yeah, either one of these is going to look fantastic. I will say this. I do like the silver on the face for this one a lot more than this one. But if you compare this to the actual animation art and what he looked like in the G1 cartoon, this is like almost picture perfect. So, like, again, you can't go wrong with either figure. They're both fantastic. And just so that we can see what they look like together, here he is with the Optimus Prime figure for Siege as well. My animation one is, is in robot mode, and or sorry, in uh, truck mode. I'm not going to transform it. I want this to be a quick video. So you can see what these guys look like together. So, yeah, again absolutely beautiful figure both of these primes and both of these megatrons are absolutely gorgeous figures let's give them the sword and which will actually help them stand a little better too <laughs> so you can see what that looks like together cool shot to go out with yeah absolutely love 
uh, the, both of these figures. So again, you can't go wrong. If you want to pick one or the other, flip a coin, you can't go wrong. They're both going to be amazing. If you can pick them up both, pick them up both. They both look great up on the shelf. And I think that about does it for Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Classic Animation Megatron. Guys, we're going to be losing our community features, our comments, our sharings, our safe laters, all of that stuff is being lost. So if you want to help the channel out, please tell your friends, spread the word, share the links with them so they can come and watch the videos. I also have a donate button up at the top. If you want to click on that, I would highly appreciate it. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.